ESPN Daily is presented by Supercuts. Supercuts is the perfect way to get a haircut if you're someone who doesn't have time for a haircut. You just check in on the Supercuts app or you walk in for a quality cut. The highly trained stylist at Supercuts can always give you that fresh cut feeling fast. And it's not just any haircut. It's Supercuts. Check in now on the Supercuts app or on Supercuts.com. The biggest names. The biggest games. They're all right here. This is 1050 ESPN New York. Sports Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. Thanks for making Sports Center All Night part of your night. Here on ESPN Radio, we're presented by Progressive Insurance. And the 2-2 again, and a swing and a miss. He got him. And the Astros will win it 9-5. So there will be no World Series celebration here in Atlanta tonight for the Braves and their fans here at Truist Park. The Astros, the bats wake up. They come to life. They just keep on coming, inning after inning in this one. And we got a ball game for you Tuesday night in Houston. It was a back and forth game five in Atlanta after falling behind by four. Houston ties the game. Braves move back in front. Astros rally again and they pull away for a 9-5 win in game five. Dan Shulman called it here on ESPN Radio. Astros second team ever with 52 out runs in a single postseason. ESPN insider Tim Kirchin. That is one resilient team, and we've seen it all year. This was the third time in this postseason that I'm thinking, boy, the Astros are in big trouble, and they might not get out of this one, and yet they do. So teams that have hit grand slams in the World Series are now 18 and three. Today was the third loss, and as you said, Scott, this is the first time since. 2002 that a team facing elimination was down four runs in a game and came back to win and Dusty Baker being the manager of the Giants that year just a beautiful coincidence Astros get the win in game five 87 runs scored for Houston this postseason most in franchise history Carlos Correa three for five with two RBI and a run scored in this one our buster only caught up with him Carlos, when Duvall hits the grand slam in the bottom of the first inning, what's the conversation among you guys when you get back to the dugout? We had the conversation uh, before the game. We're not going to give up. We're not going to go out there and not fight. And, you know, even though they scored those four runs, we knew what we had to do. We had to go out there, put pressure once again, and we responded very well in that next inning. And, uh, you know, I think the, 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 we put great at bats together. Uh, today, we haven't been able to do that all series, and that was the key to win this game. What felt like a turning point moment as you guys are coming back? Just, just everybody seeing the ball well, putting good at bats together. Um, it seemed like we were not seeing the ball well at all the first two games here, and you know we were not um, working the right way to, towards scoring those runs. And today we did, so we gotta we gotta figure out a way to do that for two more games. Dusty shakes up the lineup for this game. What do you see in your offense? I saw explosion today. I saw great at bats. I saw play discipline. And I saw a lot of barrels. So we just gotta go out there. We got uh, what Freed and we got Anderson. We gotta do that against them. And uh, you know, we're we're very confident right now. How are you feeling about going home, down three two? You know, it's, it's not where you want to be uh, going home. But you know, we were we were down three one before this game. Now we're three two. So we just gotta go out there and focus on the next game. That's game six. All right, Carlos. Thanks. Adam Duvall did have a grand slam for the Braves in the loss. Braves have 20 home runs hit this season, most in a postseason in franchise history. Braves still lead the series 3-2 despite the Game 5 loss. Monday's a travel day, Game 6 Tuesday in Houston. It's here on ESPN Radio. Our coverage begins at 7 o'clock Eastern. Sports Center all night. Back to the NFL and an outcome that, honestly, we really didn't see coming. Bengals Jets at MetLife. Shotgun for White, Carter to his left. Toss sweep to the left to Carter. Gets to the 10. Touch the field. At the 5. At the goal line and he's in. Michael Carter with a Jet touchdown. Burrow takes a handoff to Mixon. Looking for an open target. Scrambling left. Throws for Chase. Boom. He's got it. Boom. Touchdown. Yeah. Takes the snap, drops back. All out blitz. He lobs it left. Braxton Berrios makes the catch. Toe tap. He's in. That's a Jet touchdown. 
Burr drops back to throw from the pocket. Pump fake, scrambles right, keeps his eyes downfield. Throws yeah! the end zone. Touchdown, yeah! Tyler Boyd <laughs> near the sideline. Burrow buying time. Takes the snap, drops back, looks right, looks left, fires in the back of the end zone. Open his cross. He's got it! That's a jet touchdown! Tyler Croft all alone! Mike White finds him for the go-ahead score! White takes the snap, gives to Moore, it's a reverse! Mike White right off him! He'll throw it to him! He's got it! Jamison Crowder on a little Philly special! Finds Mike White for two! You know, going out and watch, watching film on them to begin the week and, and see what they did on defense, I knew there'd be completions out there. Especially with Mike White, the way he prepares every day. He's just been one of them guys that you can just look to and just be, you know, like you know he's going to do the right thing and you know that he's going to and execute when he gets out there on the field. Immense amount of faith in myself and I think that I can go out there and, and execute the offense and move the offense and today just was just an affirmation. The Jets will take a knee if they can pick up the first down here. Third down and one at their own 44-yard line. Mike White under center. Quarterback seat gets a push. I think he's got the first down. He's got it. The Jets are going to win the game. Yes, they are. Jets a 34-31 win over the Bengals. Mike White becomes the first quarterback since 1950 with 400 yards passing and three touchdown passes in his first career start. Jets get their first win when trailing by 11 or more in the fourth quarter since 2016 against the Niners. ESPN analyst Damian Woody and Tim Hasselbeck. Oh, man, it's a huge sigh of relief because there's no market like the New York market. Everything just gets magnified in New York. And after that embarrassing loss the week prior to the, to the New England Patriots, you know, at the whole, you know, it just seemed like the whole organization was on fire. So you.